Yo, welcome to another uh, segment of uh, Rebuke All Devils Radio. And uh, this is uh, courtesy of Ace's Showbiz, right? Ace Showbiz. R. Kelly's Twitter account disappears after he posted brazen message following guilty verdict. All right? That's courtesy of the uh, Ace Showbiz team. R. Kelly traces on Twitter cannot be found following his guilty verdict. After he was convicted on nine counts on Monday, September the 27th, the disgraced singer sent a message via the platform to maintain his innocence. However, the tweet as well as his account have since disappeared altogether. In, in what now will likely become his last tweet, Kelly said he was disappointed by the result of the trial and vowed that he will continue to fight for his freedom. To all my fans and supporters, I love you all and thank you for all the support. So he wrote, today's verdict was disappointing and I will continue to prove my innocence and fight for my freedom. Hashtag not guilty. After a screenshot of the tweet was posted on Instagram, people mocked him for his brazen attitude. Bro, believe in his own lies at this point. One person disagreed with Kelly. Another wrote, the, the delusion is real. A third quipped, R. Kelly, if you really believe you can fly, now's the time to do that shit. <laughs> Someone else argued, innocent? You laughed on video saying they're too late and should have tried you 30 years ago. You did it. Everything. Kelly posted the last tweet after a federal court jury found him guilty on nine counts, including racketeering, sexual exploitation of a child, kidnapping, bribery, sex trafficking, and a violation of the Mann Act following a high-profile trial. The judge ordered that Kelly remain in custody pending sentencing, which was set for May 4, 2022. Following the guilty verdict, acting U.S. Attorney Jacqueline Kasoulis told reporters, we hope that today's verdict brings some measure of comfort and closure to the victims. Kelly's attorney, Devil Rocks Knick, meanwhile, said that the defense was disappointed. I'm sure we'll be appealing, he stated. So, what do y'all think about that, man? Do y'all really, do y'all think R. Kelly done it? Or do y'all think R. Kelly is a scapegoat for Harvey Weinstein? Because, you know, Harvey Weinstein got, got charged first. And, and you know, I, I haven't been keeping up with it. But I haven't seen him being paraded around the news the way that they done R. Kelly, you know? And, and, and with that being said, if R. Kelly done, the, done these things, then R. Kelly have to pay the price. You know, it, you know, it is what it is. You know what I mean? But with that being said, man, don't forget to drop your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Don't forget to click on that notification bell and I'll catch you on the next video. Yeah, that was my surveillance camera, man, picking me up. I'm out in the front yard dropping this story, man, walking around. So that's what that notification was. But until the next episode, Shalom.